So this is coming to you after a big moment in my life, a big achievement. Some people celebrate the birth of their firstborn, graduating college, making a million dollars, whatever it may be. But my big achievement is I smoked my very first Cuban cigar today. That was an actual real Cuban, not a knockoff I bought from a guy in his old humidor. The cigar I had was spectacular, it was great. When it comes to cigars, it fit the flavor profile that I love. It had those perfect, rich, oily notes that have been aged a long, long time. So you could see the brown on my fingers from all the oil just like dripping off. And I was like, oh my God, this is spectacular. And I just loved every flipping second of it. It was amazing. Um, but so when I was smoking it for me, it gave me the impression of just super deep, rich tobacco. That being said, maybe it's because I have not smoked a full body cigar in a minute. And this was a quite full bodied stick. Um, I'll show you the band. It was a Bolivar, Bolivar, Havana. So here's the band for you to see. And it was spectacular. So it fit the flavor profile that I love. It had that rich, rich tobacco taste that I just adore and I love and uh, I feel ruined now because I'm like, dang it, these are hard to get and this was spectacular. So evidently I will be having to make some overseas trips to uh, get my sticks. I guess a trip to England is in order so that the same stick over there costs freaking 40 bucks, but whatever. Uh, still, uh, made my day. Um, I have a couple more I'm gonna try. Um, for me, that cigar was a total 10 out of 10. Like I rarely have a cigar that I'm just like, that was perfect. That was a perfect cigar in my eyes. But the, um, the bit, most interesting thing about that one, it was a legitimately heavy cigar. Like it was a small cigar, but it was heavy. Like I guess the wrappers, they, the leaves they use, something had some serious weight to it. And it was just downright flipping heavy, dude. And I was like, bro, this is heavy. Um, and it just felt like, it felt like the, uh, the cartoon cigar that you would see, uh, you know, uh, Scrooge McDuck smoking a cartoon or you see any like mafia boss villain smoke. Uh, in any cheesy movie from the 70s or 80s or whatever. And it just was great. So I totally loved it. Um, I am so disappointed. I can't smoke one of those like every day. Um, but totally loved it. I smoked it until my fingers were burning. And I was like choking because it was so small. It was all falling apart because I'd smoked the entire thing. Uh, I've heard some people will shove cigar butts into a pipe and smoke it that way. Um, I, for one, have never done that, but I would be tempted to do it for that cigar. So if you haven't caught on, um, I am fangirling about as much as you can about a cigar. So, uh, yeah, like 10 out of 10, totally loved it. Again, most cigars I smoke that I really love, I would give it a 6.5 or 7 at best if I was rating them, right? Which... Who knows, maybe I should add a rating scale. It's just that it's, just that it's so relative. So I can only say what I loved so it fit the flavor profile that I loved. Now, I may need to order the American version of that stick that we can get state size, which is a Nicaraguan wrapper. And uh, we shall see if I like that just as much. Um, who knows, maybe I'll like it better. I don't know. Maybe I just found like my favorite new Bolivar, my favorite new brand. Could be that. Um, so we'll find out. But anyway, amigo, thanks for watching. You're beautiful, amazing. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you agree. Um, are Cubans all that people like to hype them up to be? Or am I just blowing smoke? <laughs> well, we are blowing smoke. But 
Is it the good smoke or is it the negative, right? I don't know. But anyway, I'll see you later. The best of your life. Adios. Bye-bye.